People are pointing out that life of a video game journalist is so hard. It is so hard, you guys. Do you know how hard it is to have to play video games? Oh my god. Oh gosh. It's so ridiculous considering the fact that I've been in a hospital and I don't know how hard it is to go into surgery. I, I never actually did surgery, but I did went into surgery to see how stressful it is. That's a stressful job. And by the way, it's not that I don't understand that, yeah, I guess, like, when you're having the most anticipated game of the year, which is Elder Ring, and you, you get to play it before everyone else because you're on top of the mortals. You're the video game journalist. Oh, the prestige. Oh, the upper echelon of human society. And you get to play the game earlier. And you have to write a review about it. Oh, God, it, it is so hard. It, it, it is hard, especially a game like Elden Ring. Oh my god, we we just do hard to play. And uh, this uh, this requires the journalist to decompress, right? Like playing entertainment requires him to decompress. Now I gotta say, I gotta say, uh, I do understand if you're forced to play a game you don't like, it can be tedious. Just like being forced to watch a movie you don't like can be tedious, and then it's your job to write a review. But my question is. Do these publications, do they not have enthusiastic people there? I mean, if I was in charge of a video gaming publication, the moment I see that my journalists are burned out, I would fire them. I know, harsh but cruel. I, I would be like, okay, you know, like if, if this is not for you, maybe you can find a job at a sports magazine. I, I would give them a recommendation. I would give them a, a good letter. It's like, yeah, this guy was, was really good. But he lost his enthusiasm. Can we get some on you? Some, some enthusiastic player. If they would hire actual gamers, they wouldn't have this problem. If they, if they were to hire like a 18-year-old kid, my God, like can you imagine that 18-year-old who actually plays Elder Ring because he enjoys it? What articles he would write? Can you imagine just how interesting the articles would be to to read from someone who genuinely enjoys the medium who genuinely spends hours playing video games i oh, know they don't do that in fact I, I think like the reason they keep these old journalists is because of the connections they have with the industry it's the ability to get these access and, and early stuff like that that's what video game journalism is plus is the connections oh they're, they're, they're interconnected by by the thing that binds us together which is social justice so they can shake hands with other people from other publications and change the industry and by changing the industry they can change humanity for the better probably what it is but uh i'm, I'm just curious like if it keeps going like this that there's going to be a time when all these people are going to be old like you're going to have 80 year olds writing video game journalism out of day like they, they they're going to be the <laughs> Enthusiastic press writing about video games so that teenagers can read whether or not they should play it. It's kind of sad. I guess it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.